Alhamdulillah Wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah Wa alihi wa sahbihi wa mawala Wa bada assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh My name is Hawamatullah Yaqub We are from Great Fisku and we are here to tell you about the numerical miracles from the Quran Al-Quran is a book of guidance sent by Allah to all humanity Allah has challenged the mankind and Jesus to come with something similar to it, even if it is a verse, but no one could. There are numerical miracles from the Quran, from the miracle of the language of Quran, each rhetoric and eloquent, scientific, synthetic, and even numerical miracles. Let's look at some numerical miracles from the Quran together. The word asana means yes. Yeah. When you check the word yawm in its singular form, meaning day, it is repeated exactly 365 times in the Quran. Every year has 12 months. When you check the word shahr, meaning month, you will see Allah has repeated it 12 times, same as the number of months in a year. And subhanallah, no way coincidence can do this. Surah al kawthar has 10 words. Inna a'tayna rabbika wanha. Inna shaniaka huwa al-abtar Can you please count with me? Inna a'tainaka al-kawthar Fasalli li rabbika wanhar Inna shaniaka huwa al-abtar The second verse is Fasalli li rabbika wanhar So pray to your Lord and make sacrifice Muslims make their sacrifice on the tenth day of the Hijjah Now, the surah ends with Ra in all verses And Ra is the tenth letter of Huruf al-Hijjah Alif Ba, Sa, Sa, Jim, Ha, Kho, Dal, Dal, Kho. A dunya, meaning the world, is mentioned in the Quran 116 times, same as Al Akhirah, hereafter. Allahu Akbar. It is as if Allah is telling you that both lives are genuine, and of course they are, so don't let the worldly affairs overtake that of Akhirah. The word Rajul in singular form means man. It's mentioned 24 times in the Quran. Similar to Imra, woman, which is mentioned 24 times. Allah has done justice between men and women. Even in numbers, He mentioned them in the Quran to tell you that they are came to Him. One can only be better than the other is the Torah. Inna akramakum inda Allahi asqakum. Deployed female B has 16 pairs of chromosomes. While her ployed male has 16 single chromosomes. And subhanallah, Surah Al Nahl, the B, the distinct chapter of the Quran. When we come down to earth, we find iron to be the major constituent of the earth's core. Okay, what about the Quran's core? We have 114 surahs in the Quran. If we divide 114 by half, the answer is, the answer is 57. And guess what? The central chapter of the Quran is Surah Al Hadid, chapter 57. Kaaba is our Qibla, the direction we face to pray. When we go to Kaaba for Tawaf, we go around the Kaaba seven times. And the word Qibla in all its forms appears seven times in the Quran. Rainbows have seven colors, right? Can you please count with me? Red. Blue, yellow, green, orange, indigo, and violet. When you check the word alwan, meaning colors, it's repeated in the Quran seven times. The name Isa alayhi salam in the Quran was mentioned 25 times. Same as Adam alayhi salam. Subhanallah. And the similarities have been pointed out in the Quran. Inna mathala Isa inda Allahi ka mathali Adam Indeed, the example of Jesus to Allah is Adam Scientifically, the ocean occupies 71% seven, seven, seven of the earth and the land has 28-29% scientifically and the word Baharin in its singular form meaning sea is mentioned 33 times in the Quran while the land is mentioned 13 times therefore 33 of the sea plus 13 of the land equals 46 so how will you get the percentage of these numbers? 
You take 33, which is the number of C, mentioned from the cumulative 46, it will give you exactly 71.7%. And the global percentage is between 71 and 72%. And 13, which is the number of lands mentioned from 46, is exactly 28.3%. And the global percentage is between 28 and 29 percent scientifically. No way a rational person will believe all these are coincidence. Rather, they came exactly from the knowledge of Allah the Almighty who created everything. With this, we have come to the end of our presentation about the numerical miracles in the Quran. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun. Wassalamun ala al-mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin.